up, y'all? You rocking with Moochie, and this is Moochilla's review. So hit the hammer, because you came through. Eww. If you're finding my channel for the first time, please like, share, and subscribe. What's up, y'all? I'm talking about Reasonable Doubt today. I'm back with a video. This is one you guys was asking me about if I was watching, so I decided to take a look-see at this. So I did a recap of the first episode, which is called Hustle Hard. So let's get into it. Ew. So this episode starts out with a bang. We see Jack Stewart. She's tied up and she's pleading for her life. Then it skips to six months earlier where we saw, see her start her day. She's a lawyer. I don't know why they had to show this scene. I don't know what was the reason for that. But she's a family. She has a family. She has a um, family. But her and her husband are going through a trial separation. She still, they still doing family things like going to church. And when she goes to church, where she gets a phone call from Theo James about his client wanting to bring charges against her client, which is a basketball player. However, Jack sticks to her guns and she's going to have her assistant, Crystal, do some digging. Next, Jack has a meeting with her fellow partners, and they're talking about a new client they're about to bring in, which is Brayden Miller, and how Brayden Miller should be brought in and how she, he should be handled. One-on-one, -on -one, just two lawyers, not a whole conference room situation. So Jax gets a phone call from her mother. This is the first time we see her. And she's letting them know that they have a party for her stepfather, which is her, her mother's husband. And she wants the whole family to be there. So Jack's husband, Louis, hires Will for security because he's no longer in the house. He's no longer a man in the house. So he wants to hire security. And Jax is not feeling this. And her son, Spencer, he really doesn't want to stay there with his mother. He's... With this whole separation thing, he's angry with his mother. The whole separation thing took place because so Lewis wanted her to quit the job because it's very dangerous. So he said, either you leave the job or I'm leaving you. And she stayed with her job. So Lewis moved out. Moved out and they're separated. Jax has her little secret stash of cigarettes and she smokes and she wants Will to know like, look, this is a secret. Keep this between us. And he like, I smoke too, boo. Well, he out there doing his job watching the house, though. Next, Jax has lunch with her girlfriend, Chanel, Sally, and Fallon. And they are at a restaurant. And everybody knows that Lewis is out the house. So they're basically telling her, you know, this is why you have such an attitude. Or, or this is why you're this way because your husband's not home and you're not getting, you know, the ping. Meanwhile, Chanel just blurts out at the table. My husband's eating someone else's pussy, so I'm not hungry. She tells Jax she needs to stay with her husband and work this out because, you know, knuckles ain't ish. And she said, not all, not all, and I agree with that, some. And it's not just ends, okay? Next, Jax and Rich meet their new client, Braden Miller. And to me, he's such an asshole. He's an asshole. He's very rude. And he seems like he doesn't like black women, that smart black women. I'm going to say that. He just seems like that. So Brayden Miller wants to hire her firm for a sensitive matter pertaining a female that used to work for them. And she's trying to bring him up on sexual harassment charges. And he wants to have an NDA Thing because she may dispose of secrets to his liquor company and they're about to go into a big deal. So Daniel Kim is one of the investigators in the firm and he wants, and Jax wants him to investigate Madison Styles, which is an influencer. She's on Instagram and all these other things and she is trying to basically squeeze this basketball player that, which is Jax's client. She wants to basically make him pay for things or she's going to expose him so jack suggests to her client 
why don't you try smoothing her over and seeing if she wants an all expense paid trip? And sure enough, that's what she was, a gold digger. She was exposed and that was that. Next, Jax is at home with her security will. And she basically, he gives her a little pill to help her sleep better. And it was like an awkward exchange. She hugs him. And the whole time, her husband's looking at all of this. I'm not understanding this. Why would you leave the house if you're going to sit here and watch her? And then you're going to accuse her of doing things because you watching her. And I think she's kind of on to you because she knows there's cameras in the house. So back when Jax was a public defender, she had this client by the name of Damon. She goes to visit him because he's been contacting her. He's been locked up for 16 years for a crime that he hasn't committed, but he was guilty of it. So Damon is telling her how he's up for parole and he's going to confess to the crime. And she's livid with this. She doesn't even want to talk to him anymore if he does this. But he explains to Jax, I spend all this time in here. And I just want to enjoy, I just want to live my life at this point. And I don't care. I just want to be free. Jax has drinks with her homegirl, Sally. And she shows up at Lewis' house drunk. She's talking about she want to see her kids because it was her night. And, you know, they have a little, little epi episode in the car. And he leaves her high and dry. So Jax comes home and Will is outside doing his security duties. And he, him and uh, Jax have a conversation and have a cigarette. And it seems like they're kind of friendly right now, but it's not inappropriate as of yet. But she is very flirtatious. But is it because of the alcohol? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. So Rich goes over the NDA and settlement agreement with Kalisha Miller. And to me, I feel like Rich messed up this entire deal. She was about to sign this paper. He goes over everything with her. And ju just as he's about to say, she's about to um look at this whole thing. The comment he says is, being that you have no evidence that this happened. This is the best settlement you can get. It's a really good settlement. And this basically did not go over well with Kalisha Miller and her cousin. She rips up the settlement and she cuss and her cousin curses out Rich. Kalisha bumps into Jax in the hallway and she says the next time a black woman is being violated, you need to be there. Couldn't say the R word, so I had to say violated. She's being violated. You need to be there. Jax was caught off guard with this whole exchange because at first it started out nice, but then it went left. Anywho. This is a very good and extremely generous settlement, considering there's no proof. What are you doing? Tell him I said his word is shit, and he knows why. Just give me my validation. So Damon Cook has his parole hearing. And we are going to find out about the outcome. So Rich has to come back to Braden Miller with the bad news. That the settlement was rejected. And she didn't sign it. And he's letting him know how it went. And Braden Miller tells him, you know what? Don't worry about it. I handle myself. I handle it myself. Uh, and I'll, you know, just take this check on the way out. So we're going to see how that goes. Because he seems like he's mad, but he's not really saying anything. So Mama Lou has a birthday party for her husband. And the family shows up. And Jack's husband, Louis, tries to act like he's the best husband in the world. And he shows out. And I think with this, she's very pissed off with him. So she decides to leave. She decides to leave. He's mad because, you know, you wanted a day where we came as a family together. And you're going to leave here because you have work to do. It's, and he called her selfish. Meanwhile, she goes back to the house. Hooks up with Will. And Lewis watches the whole thing. 
And he seems like he's turned on by it. And then she wakes up in the morning and finds out that Kalisha Miller is dead, y'all. So that was my recap of Reasonable Doubt Season 1, Episode 1. The name of the episode is Hustle Hard. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that hammer because you came by. Let me know what y'all think in the comments so we could chop it up. And let me know if you are watching this show and what y'all think. Talk to you guys soon. Later. Ew.